Hello and welcome to Tech Tool India. Today in this video, I'm going to explain you about database factory and the seeder in Laravel 9. So without wasting any time, let's get started. I have already installed Laravel on my local machine. If you want to know how you can install a Laravel 9 on your local, you can watch a video given in the description. So let's jump into the code. Let's open a code. So first we need to understand what is factory in Laravel. So factory is a nothing but a representation of the model with some fake data. Very often there is a use case in every application where we require some fake data to be tested while you know doing a unit testing or while doing large number of data testing. So instead of inserting a data through database query or you know manually in laravel 9 we have factories which can be used as a tool to insert large number of data with a single command let's see how we can use this factory so if you go into your folders open this database folder you'll see there is a factories folder and the user factory is given as an example how you can write your factory. So I'm just going to delete this and we will look into this from initial. So let's delete this file, move it to trash. Now by running a command we can create this factory. So to create a factory I'm going to use this factory for users model to insert thousand records in a users table. So what we can do to create a factory, you need to run a command php artisan make factory is a command and the name of factory I'm just giving it as user factory and you can specify the model for which you are creating this. So I'm just creating it for user model. So this will create our factory and then assign that factory to the user model. Let's create this. As soon as you run this command, your factory has been created. Let's open. It will go inside database factories folder. Let's open this. As soon as you open this, you will see it is actually extending this factory class. If you see in our models, it has this user model so it is going to extend that class right so let's in the definition we need to define all our the users property like what is the users fillable properties so let's go into the user model let's open this if you see in the user model we are extending this trait which is has factory so this by extending this has factory trait, this allows us to create a fake data on behalf of users. So we are using these fields like name, username, mobile number, email and password. And there will be remember token and email verified ad. So we are going to use the minimal what we can do. So let's go ahead and name this as a name property and in the factory we are going to use the faker library of php to create a fake data so what we'll do we'll just simply define this faker and then when you extend this you will have different function available right so i'm just giving it a name function so it will return a fake name every time you can also specify a gender if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that. The next property we have is an email. So for email, what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to use this faker library and create a fake email. So for that, I'm just using this faker. The email should be unique in the property. So I'm just using this unique property. And after that, I just wanted to be this email to be safe. So I'm just using this safe email function. So this will give me a unique safe email every time. 
So the next property which we'll have is a username, right? So again, username will have their unique username. So we'll use this faker library and see if there is any function for username. Yes, there is. So we are using this username. Before that, I have to use a unique for this as well. So this will be our unique property and then the username. All right. The next property which we have is mobile number. So I'm going to define that mobile number. And then again, with the help of faker library, I'm going to use it for a fake mobile number, right? So instead of mobile number, it will be a phone number. Yeah, so there you go. You get a phone number, right? The next thing which we have is a password. For password, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the facade which is available in laravel hash make and this will make a hashed string of password and the password i'm just giving it password so every for every user the password will be password but it will be hashed so the next property which we have is email verified at so let's look at the property email verified at so what i'm going to do for email verified at i'm just going to use now so whenever that this whenever this uh, factor will be used the current timestamp will be assigned the next is remember token so i'm just copying this field name from here and using the same field name because we are extending the same model. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use this string facade and using this length or the random string of length 10. So this will make sure every time we have a random string for this we need to import this from support so we have to use this here and similar for hash as well we have to use it here otherwise it will give you error so as you see we have defined all the properties of that user model let's save this now in order to use this you can run you can use this factory as a command so let me open the terminal and in the terminal what i can use is basically create a record in database so before creating this i just go into the database we have two users now let's open this in the terminal and write down php artisan tinker in order to run the command directly now i can run these command directly app models user and then factory i'm using this factory class and create this should create a single record in our database let's hit as you see it has created a record this particular information printed here so let's go and refresh our database you'll see there is a record which has been created on behalf of this user model what if we have to create 50 out of i mean at least 10 let's get created this 10 record at once so all we need to do after this factory we give a count which whatever count you will give i'm just giving it a 10 it is going to create that number of record for that particular factory so let's enter this 
you see it has created 10 record at the same time now if you refresh this you see the 10 record has been created again and everything is there right so it's really easy if you want to create thousands of record in a single command so factory is the best solution which laravel gives us to create this now every time you don't have to use this command or the tinker command to create these data so all you need to do is let's exit this first and let's close this terminal now what we can use instead of using this command in terminal we can use cedar cedar is nothing but a laravel tool which we can use to seed our databases so basically whenever we have these seeders whenever we wanted to seed any database we just run this single command and that will seed our database so in order to create that you have to run a command so again let's open the terminal to create a seeder you just need to run a command php artisan make seed and the name of seeder right so i'm just giving it user table seeder correct so let's hit this as soon as you hit this command it will create a seeder file inside your database seeder folder let's open up this you'll see this is actually extending the cedar trait and inside the run whatever you are going to use that it will run this command so i just wanted to seed thousand records by running this cedar so what i'm going to do that i simply use this user model and then factory using this factory i'm just giving this account of thousand right and then i'll just write it as create what it will do so if we are using user so you we, we need to import this class so this will be app models and user so here you need to on the top you need to import this user model class in order to use this here in the run function all right so we have created our seeder now how we wanted to use this you can run this particular seeder command by running a command php artisan and then db seed it will run all the seeder but if you want to specify this user table seeder command so you can pass a class name the class name will be the same what we have used to create a seeder right so it will be user table seeder right so as soon as you run this command you'll see your record thousand record for this user table will be created as you can see database seeding completed successfully now if you go into the database and refresh you'll see there is thousands of record has been created in the users table imagine if you are doing it manually it will going to take a lot of your time but using this factory and seeder it will be as easy as within a second you'll get all those record in your table so i hope this will give you clarity how you can use factories and how you can use seeder to seed your database tables within single command and that will create thousands of record for you there's a lot of other things which you can explore inside a factory inside a seeder through the laravel documentation i hope this video is informative for you if you like this video please do subscribe our channel if you face any issue while using database seeder or a factory please do let us know in the comment section we'll try to get that resolved for you till the next video keep watching
keep learning thank you for watching